it's Jay and today I'm here with another book haul. I literally just got in the door from going to my thrift store and I picked up five more books because, like we know, I have no self-control. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I picked up I'm really excited about because now I have a matching set to Queen of Air and Darkness because I have this book but in the like UK version of it so it's Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare so now it matches my Queen of Air and Darkness which you know first world problems but I like to have books that match so that's literally the only reason I bought this but I still don't even own Lord of Shadows so I don't know what I'm doing with my life. The next book that I have I bought solely because of the author. It's Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. She wrote Vampire Academy and Bloodlines and the Glittering Court series which I really liked Vampire Academy and I really like the first book of the Glittering Court. I haven't read the other ones but not so much a huge fan of Bloodlines but this is her other series so I wanted to give it a try. Honestly I didn't even know she had another series so I was very surprised when I saw it. I'm honestly not even that sure what it's about. There's like some investigator named Justin, I think his name is, yes, Justin March, and he gets a partner and bodyguard named May who is a super soldier. I'm guessing she's like supernatural or something. We're gonna see what we think of this once we read it, but I'm hoping that it's good. Apparently it was from the dollar store though, so not really having high hopes, but the next book I have is Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, and honestly, uh, when this first came out, I really wanted it because I think it's a really pretty cover, and I just really like the look of it. I don't know that much about it other than I think that it's literally just mythological stories like retold, but I could be very wrong, but I think it's pretty and I like the gold on it, so money spending habits are good in this house. And then the final two books I bought because of the author as well. I recently read Big Little Lies by her and I absolutely loved it so now I feel like she's an auto buy author for me but they are Three Wishes and The Hypnotist Love Story by Leanne Moriarty. This one follows three sisters who are triplets and they're both going through like different things in their life. They're coming very close to their 33rd birthday and it's them like realizing stuff about their situations and it says that there's cheating husbands so I'm hoping someone gets slapped. That's my wish for this book. I feel like Leanne Moriarty books are just really quick reads for me so we're gonna fly through this one. And then this one is about a hypnotist whose love life is very up and down until she meets a man named Patrick who seems to be like the perfect man for her and then he has the secret that he ends up telling her and it's that his ex-girlfriend is stalking him and she is very intrigued by this. She's like, yo, I'm dating someone that is stalkable. This is great. I want to meet her. But turns out she already has. So I'm guessing the little stalker ex-girlfriend like went to her hypnotist lounge house wherever she is and was like yo hypnotize me and then shit's gonna go down. I hope somebody dies. Probably won't happen but I'm intrigued so <laughs> that's my thoughts on that book. Alright you guys so that was my little book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>